Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Morgan and I'm all about DIY and home decor on a budget. Okay, who recognizes these blinds? They have literally been in every single rental I've ever lived in. They're cheap, they're not cute, and they are a pain and a half because, oh my goodness, every time I try and open the blinds, one of the slats either falls off or gets stuck and it is such a pain. So today I'm sharing with you an easy and renter-friendly way to get rid of those blinds and make your window a lot more appealing to look at. Okay, first off, we have to remove the blinds. They are actually super easy to take down. Just push up on the blind and slide it over and it's out. Easy peasy. To keep my blinds together and to prevent any from breaking, I use some painter's tape to tape them all together. I'm going to use the Lenda curtains from Ikea to hang in the place of the blinds. I love the detail at the top of these curtains, but unfortunately my curtains are too long for my wall, so I'm folding it down starting from the top to make it the correct length. To hang the curtain up, I found these magical little hooks on Amazon that I'll link for you. All you have to do is clip them on a curtain and then hook the hooks onto the rod that your blinds used to be on. When I clipped my hooks onto the curtain, my clips were about two and a half inches apart. When I put the curtain on the rod, I spaced it out so there were two clips between the old leftover blind clips. I found that this spacing made the curtain drape really nicely. And hanging it this way made it so that I could still use the lever to open and close the curtains. And here's what it ended up looking like. Okay, here's my thoughts on this. Are they better than the vertical blinds? Yes, 100%. But do I like the finished product? No, I don't. The hooks that I used were really nice and really easy to use, but you could see the bottoms of the hooks when the curtain was hung up and I just really didn't like that. But you could only see the bottom of the hooks if you were close up to the window. If you were across the room, you couldn't see them. So if that bothers you, being able to see the hooks when you're close up to the curtain, maybe this isn't for you. But if it doesn't bother you, then have at it. The second thing that I didn't like was that you still had that ugly plastic piece over your curtain. And that piece just really makes your curtains look so cheap, even if your curtains aren't. In my previous video, I did a DIY wooden curtain rod, and that window is actually on the same wall as this window that has the vertical blinds, and I used the exact same curtains for both. The DIY wooden curtain rod made my curtains look so elegant and beautiful, and then I would look over at the other window that used to have the vertical blinds and think, wow, those curtains look so cheap. But guys, they were the exact same curtain, and it was that darn plastic piece that was making them look so bad. So what I ended up doing, I just took it all down, put my vertical blinds back up, and then made myself a second DIY wooden curtain rod, and then hung curtains over my vertical blinds so you couldn't see them anymore. Installing an actual curtain rod does put a few holes in your wall, but guys, let me tell you, for years, I didn't want to put a single hole in any of my rental units that I lived in um, because I was afraid I wouldn't get my security deposit back. But Curtain rod holes are not that big and they are so easy to patch up and you cannot tell the difference if you do a good patch job. So I just say, hang up the curtains. It's gonna make you so much happier. It's gonna make your place feel more like a home. It's gonna elevate your space. Just hang up the curtains and stop being in that place of waiting for your own home. Just do it. However, if you are adamant that you do not wanna put holes in your walls, I have a few suggestions. One thing that I was thinking of for that ugly plastic piece is what if you used contact paper? Find a contact paper that you like. I would probably choose one that looks like faux wood and then just stick that contact paper on that plastic piece and I think that will help with the overall look. Another thing that I was thinking is what if you got a 
thin lightweight piece of wood maybe like a craft wood and then you stuck that on the plastic piece i think command strips would work really well for that just get those velcro command strips and then you can stick that wood straight onto the plastic piece and i think that would elevate it a whole lot anyway there's a couple ideas for you if you guys have any ideas on ways that you can elevate those vertical blinds let me know in those comments if you did like this video go ahead and hit that like button so i know that you liked it make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you can keep on diying with me I'll put a couple of video suggestions on here for you that I think you're going to like, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.